Google LM is going to be one of the most interesting technologies if you've got to study or prepare for something. So whether you're going to be doing a presentation or a talk or whether you're studying for an exam that you've got, whether it be at college or at school or at university, or whether simply you need to gather lots of information around one topic and summarize it, it's a brilliant tool. And I've already made an introductory course about using Google LM, which you can watch on the screen now, and this proved very popular, where I go through all the latest updates in 2025. In this video, I'm going to concentrate on how we can use Google LM in language teaching and language learning. So if you're a language teacher or a language student, you're going to find this video particularly interesting. I'm going to make it super practical. Really hope you like the video, and if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it. But most of all, I'd love to have more of you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's get started. Please ignore me if I mentioned Google LM rather than Google Notebook LM. I just simply refer to it that way. I did a course recently where people kept talking to it as Google LM, and I've kind of got the same idea. So if you write Google LM in here, you're going to get it's going to come straight up on the screen. But also notice new news for you. If you click now on your apps, you will find that it's actually been added. Okay, so you can access it that way as well. If you've never signed into Google LM before, the first time you probably will need to put in your Gmail account again. Now, the first video I want to focus on is using Google LM Notebook to work around YouTube videos because we often use YouTube videos either if we're studying languages or if we're teaching languages. Teachers like to use TED videos and videos from YouTube, etc. And in fact, this would work with any type of video, though I'm gonna show you it working with a YouTube video. So I'm gonna click on new, and what I wanna do in this particular one, right, is that I'm gonna add just one link to one YouTube video, and then I'm gonna use Notebook LM to ge generate loads of content that I could use in a class building around that one YouTube video. And that's gonna include audio and video and quizzes and multiple choice questions and summaries and vocabulary lists. It's incredible what you can generate just from this one source. So I'm gonna use a TED Talk, and in this particular one, I'm gonna use a video in English, but I've already tried this out in Polish and in Spanish, and absolutely fine, it will work in multiple languages. And all you need to do is to copy the link to the video, so I'm just gonna copy that link, okay? Come back to your Notebook LM, and remember, you're gonna add your source. So you just click here, and come back to this window and then click on YouTube and paste in your link. Now, it really does work well when you're working in doing this for languages that you just focus on the one piece of content because you're gonna build now a load of different activities around that one piece of content. Now, automatically, you get this kind of summary here in the middle. And it's kind of interesting, even this summary, if you look at it, because it highlights a few of the core words. But you could now get Notebook LM to generate any type of content that you want, that you want to use in the class with your students. For example, let's get Notebook LM to generate 10 comprehension questions. So I've written my instructions. Can you generate 10 comprehension questions for my English students who are level B2 in English, so upper intermediate? I want to check their understanding of the video. And I'm going to click here, okay? And I'm hoping that it's going to generate the 10 comprehension questions for me. Now it does a superb job of this, and I just want to point out a couple of things. What it does, which I really like, is that if we come here and just scroll down and look at this, it kind of sets up the, begin the, the question in quite a really nice way. So it says, at the beginning of the talk, Lucy Hone asked the audience to stand up based on the various life experiences. What is the main point she wants to make by having people do this? And it even sort of shows you which part of the video the answer comes from. So there are all the questions. Now, one thing, guys, <laughs> you might want to ask uh, Google LM notebook to provide you with the answers. So when you ask for the question and I forgot, make sure you ask for the answers as well. So I'm going to quickly ask for the answers to the question. And another thing is, 
what are we going to do with this? Because obviously we don't want it here. We need to put it somewhere else. And there are kind of two things that you could do. But the easiest thing to do would be to just click on that copy button and then open up Word file or a Google, um, for example, a Google document and just paste those questions into a Google document. So I've just jumped over to Word and I'm going to paste in those questions and there they are. So that would be my first piece of content for my class with my students and we've got all the questions as I said you will need to get the answers as well and in fact it's a good idea when you ask the question to ask for the answers as well so I'm just going to quickly type in now to get the answers so I've got my answers to the questions as well which would be a good idea to save obviously uh, you're not likely to want to give those answers to the students straight away but you might want to give them to the students after now what else could we do well let's concentrate on vocabulary because we might want to extract say some of the most useful phrases or perhaps even just key words that would help our students to understand the text so let's start with some vocabulary so I've been a bit more detailed here and I've said can you list 10 words that would be useful for my B2 level students of English to learn to help them sorry and I should put there to help them to help them to understand the text can you provide me with the words and a definition of each word okay now you could even ask for example for the word in a sentence if you wanted so again I'm going to press here and I'm hoping it's going to generate that content for me so we've got that content and again the same thing we're going to want to obviously copy those words so you can click here and copy and then jump back or oh, in fact we'll just paste this straight into the same text but I'm very likely to in fact add these questions or this, this list of vocabulary at the beginning okay obviously I'm very likely to format this a little bit different the formatting isn't that bad to be honest with you so you can often just paste things in and and literally print them out and give them to your students maybe with a title etc okay so you can see the power of that chat window and I'm actually gonna push the level in a minute and just show you how much you can get out of that chat window because you can actually do a lot and don't forget of course we've still got all the other tools the video production the audio production etc so let's extend what we've been doing and if you are liking the video please please like it please share it comment on it etc because it really helps me to boost my YouTube channel so let's just push on a little bit further I've tested this in other languages I can vouch for a few languages there's two things to remember first of course you would need a video in French or Spanish or whatever language you'll happen to be learning but also it would be a good idea to come up to your settings and change your output language to whatever language it is that you want to generate that content in so you'll be uploading a video in French and generating content in French or uploading a video in Spanish and generating content in Spanish so keep in mind that you would need to change the output language for the content look at this example here what I did was can you I wrote can you extract eight useful phrases from the video can you make the, these phrases into an activity where the students have to match the beginning and the ending of the eight phrases so first of all it's given me the eight phrases okay and then it's done an activity where we have the beginning of the sentence and then the endings the students have to choose whether it's a b c d etc okay now the formatting is not perfect but it's really good okay it will work absolutely fine you could always tidy it up a little bit and very nicely as well it's provided me with the answer so I could again click on the save button come back to our ever-growing exercise and then paste that in so if I come down here I would paste that in again I'll probably have to do a little bit of formatting and I definitely want to delete the answer key I only want the answers myself but now see the students could do this activity and what we're basically doing is building up here a kind of worksheet now there are lots of tools that will do this but this is completely free and that is the power now I'm going to show you just one more example of how powerful that chat window is one thing that teachers often say to me is that AI takes away the creativity and you almost feel as if you're not writing your own material and to a degree I, I, I agree with that but one thing I have noticed is the more experimental I've got the more kind of I've 
pushed the boat and tried to work out what to do with these technologies, the more I felt that they're mine. And this is an example of what I mean. I've said, can you write for me a rather formal summary of the video and an informal summary? Because I want my students to analyze the two texts and identify the phrases and words that make the text either formal or informal. Now, I think these types of activities are great because this would take a long time to produce uh, and it's an interesting activity from the student's point of view, lots of reading going on, analysing language, thinking about the kind of, you know, the formality of language in this particular case. And I think this is an excellent activity and I think this is where we begin to be creative with what the AI can do. Just a super quick break from the video, just to say, if you do like the video, then please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There are loads more free videos on the site. I specialize in making videos that show language teachers how to use technology. One other thing, if you sign up to the newsletter at the moment, then you will get a free 14 part course where I show you some of the key technologies that we can use in language teaching. There really are no tricks, nearly everything that I highlight is free. That was all, let's get back to the video. And it has done exactly that. Now, one thing that it's actually done as well is it's highlighted some of the key words on phrases here in, 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 in kind of a dark color, okay? Now, it's doing this a lot of the time, by the way, just to, to make it absolutely clear where the information is coming from. Notice that when you copy the text, and I just want to point this out, so if we come over here and we've got now our informal and our formal, and then we've got a nice activity set out, if we click on the copy button and then to paste that in, note to text, that's now been uh, extended. And again, I might delete this activity part here from the end of the text, but you can see it doesn't actually put in all the references. I don't forget as well, if you don't want these things highlighted in black, all you would need to do really is just to select it, highlight it in black and then turn it off and it would turn it off for everything, okay? But in fact, I find this quite useful often. Okay, really hope you're finding the, the video useful and if you are, please like it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Love to have more of you subscribed. What I'm gonna do now is move on to show you some of the other features in Google Notebook LM. We're gonna focus particularly on the audio and the video. And I'm gonna show you that actually you can customize the content. However, I don't think people realize to what degree you can customize it. One thing, if you are a fan of audio and reading, so that is like having a text and then being able to listen to that text being read out, there is actually a better tool than uh, Notebook LM that I use a lot. It's called Edu Cafe and it works in multiple languages and it will generate a text for you on practically anything that you want, but it also produces the audio file as well as some activities that you can do alongside the content. If you wanna watch that video, I'll put it on the screen now and you can access that. But we're gonna look now at just a clever way that you can use Google Notebook LM when working in language teaching. So to generate audio and video files, you literally just click on that button there, or click on that button there if you wanted video. But see, the thing is you can actually specify exactly what you want. So you let it, doing an example with the audio, if I click here, and click on customize i can be really specific can you make me a video focused on language learning can the, the audio podcast focus on 15 of the best phrases that would be useful for students to learn taken from this particular video so you could be really specific about what actual content you want it could be very different from the original video itself you, the podcast could be almost like a chat about the, the ideas in the video, but you could be very specific and ask for something completely different. And it does work because I can do that in either audio or the same in the video I can customize here and do the same thing. But let me, for example, play this where I've been very specific that I want the podcast show because it's they're kind of like shows to be all about the language that learners might found use, find useful connected with this particular video. So you can completely change the content. Now notice when it generates the content for you as well that you are able to download that, all right? So it would be easy then to use in the classroom as listening material or study material for students if you wanted to provide them with the video. Let's just have a quick listen to what was generated. So let's have a listen to what was generated. I think I can click here and even... Everyday oh, yeah. Conversations. 
And especially when you're discussing challenging topics or like personal growth. Right. Because understanding these specific phrases isn't just about comprehending Lucy's profound message, though that's vital, of course. It's about significantly boosting your ability to express yourself. Today, we're embarking on a deep dive that's, well, it's custom tailored for you, our B2 English language learner listener. That's right. We're drawing our insights from a truly powerful source. Lucy hones TEDx talk on the three secrets of resilient people. Mm -hmm. it's, it's incredibly moving. She shares a deeply personal experience and offers strategies for navigating life's toughest moments. Yeah, it's quite something. But our mission for this deep dive is a bit different, isn't it? While her message about resilience is, you know, universally profound, our main goal here is to act as your expert guides really extracting and understanding the most useful and commonly used English phrases and vocabulary from her talk. Exactly. So you can see that you can get the podcast to be about any topic you want. And again, this is all down to kind of creativity and thinking how you could use Notebook LM to build a whole lesson, but with a variety of different activities going on for the students, both in the classroom and maybe for homework. Now, keep in mind, of course, that you can do exactly the same thing via video. I really like the audio too. Well, the video too was also pretty useful, but I like the audio and I like the complement between obviously the audio and the fact we've already got a video, plus we've got reading material and gap fields, etc. And this can work really, really well together. Okay, really hope that's given you an idea of what you can do with Notebook LM. I'm going to suggest one more other technology before we finish this video today. It's absolutely brilliant. It's called Gaston. And it's kind of similar in some ways to Notebook LM because what this technology does is if you put in a link to a YouTube video, it extracts the whole transcript. Now it can be in any language and it doesn't matter if the transcript's in the video, that has nothing to do with it, it works with voice. But then, because it has ChatGPT embedded into the system, you can generate a whole series of different activities once you've extracted the transcript, gap fills, comprehension, questions, matching activities, etc. Now I really like Gaston and it's another technology I use to support my language learning. And if you wanna watch that video, it's on the screen now. Really hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like it, please share it, please comment on it, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Okay, really hope you liked the video, and if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialize in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. And we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies. And we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well, so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training, this training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.